Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and it's been a very, very heavy week. Um, you know, we live on the other side of the border in Canada and so much has been going on um, and social media is a very, very heavy place to be right now. And then over here in Canada, we're still going on in lockdown. I start back teaching on Monday remote learning you get my vaccine tomorrow so that is very exciting um, but still just the new laws that have been dropped and everything like that like the new rules I guess with the lockdown they're a little bit unsettling especially for those of us um, in the black community and the brown community or the bi POC community in general um, and so you know it's been a very heavy week and uh, yesterday I was having a super super rough day and I had placed an order on Sephora for some beauty bits during their spring savings event or their VIB sale and it arrived super late yesterday um, but that also came after my best friend Kemi sent to me a couple bottles of wine to cheer me up because she knew I was also having a rough day and so her cute little gift as well as my little Sephora haul that came in really kind of cheered me up a bit and I thought I wanted to share some stuff with you um, that I got in the sale uh, because I've been waiting for the sale for quite some time now. There are things that I had to replenish and I've just kind of been biding my time and using Hina's stuff until I was able to buy them in the sale. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly go through it with you there's a couple stuff in here as well that uh, are for Hina uh, so I just kind of like bunched them into one haul I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got for her too so I'm gonna show you her things first and then um, and then we'll keep going so if you guys have been following me for a long time now and you'd have to be following me for a long time to know this but I think it was maybe our first or second time filming vlogmas and do you guys remember when we went to like montreal for a few days and then we ended up in quebec at my friend's house michelle um and christelle so back then i went to the sephora in montreal and i think if i'm not mistaken hina ended up buying some stuff there too and that was her very 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 first time purchasing sephora stuff and so that was when she kind of graduated from you know clean and clear or washing her face with body wash to actual products designated for her skin and her face and whatever so at the time uh she bought hi mommy hi baby this is what it means to film a video when you have a child and you literally get no alone time as i was saying uh at the time she purchased some jack black products and so since then she's just been using jack black she hasn't strayed from that hina is very much a creature of habit and so i just did a re-up for her um double duty face moisturizer from jack black this is the one that has spf 20 hydrating hydrating blue algae extract and sea parsley so i got her the moisturizer and then the pure clean daily facial cleanser this one has aloe and sage leaf so i just got her kind of like a replenish of these two she's not out of her jack black stuff yet but these will be here for her when she's ready to kind of um use them so i got her those two and then i got us a uh, body wash and this one is by the brand necessaire and this is their the body wash and this is their sandalwood scent i haven't actually opened this i tried opening the box earlier but i didn't want to rip it so i didn't actually open it to oh god i ripped it i love the packaging i'm very much into kind of like that minimalist aesthetic if you guys can tell oh my gosh guys if you're in the mood for overpriced body wash definitely buy this one uh, plastic bottle it's a very very small bottle for a $30 body wash um, oh smells amazing though it actually is giving me very much Aesop 
slash La Labo vibes. It reminds me of how the Aesop booth used to smell whenever I, when I worked at Saks and I'd walk by the Aesop booth, it used to smell like this, like sandalwood, sometimes lavender, maybe a bit of geranium, but it's definitely giving me Aesop green herbaceous beauty vibes. So I'm very curious to try this one by Necessaire. I've heard about their brand, but I've never actually um, tried their stuff before. Even the packaging is very kind of like Aesop in a sense. pH 5.5 to 6.5, so that's also a pretty good thing. And then I got a hand cream to just kind of like keep around. My hands get very, very dry. Um, they lean more towards the ashy side. So I decided to get this one by Grown Alchemist and it is their vanilla and orange peel hand cream. And I remember when I started Ellen Main, Grown Alchemist was very much one of the brands that kind of really inspired uh, my aesthetic. So this is pretty much what the packaging looks like. Very, very gorgeous, kind of beautiful, minimalist packaging. The Unseen sunscreen. I'm almost out of my Super Goop Play slash Jouer sunscreen. And um, C. Robinson MD. I'm really hoping that's, or C. Robbins MD. I'll link her Instagram handle down below, but she's a black dermatologist based out of the United States. And I love her Instagram videos. They're very informative. They're super helpful. And she did a reel where she was, was recommending um, sunscreens that are black girl friendly and she recommended this one and I know I already like she recommended other ones too like this one by Serena Williams and I think another one by Biasan so I can't remember but I know that I loved play by super goop and so I thought I would try on scene the cool thing about this one is it this one the texture is more gel like um, and so I don't want to open this yet because I'm not quite finished my play and I don't want to open this until I'm done that one but the texture is a lot more gel like and so that's why they call it unseen because it just goes on like a clear sunscreen so it's not supposed to give a white cast you can't see it and all of that stuff so I was very curious to try it. I'm very into sunscreens and I know you guys really love play I still love play so don't get me wrong I love play it's definitely something that I will keep in my arsenal I just wanted to try another product from the brand to see if it's more of like a brand thing that I really love about it or one specific product but I definitely love play I wear it every single day and um, I think that this will be just as good so either or you guys are good oh my birthday present from sephora because my birthday is this month and so i opted to go for the laneige water sleeping mask uh the lip sleeping mask and the water bank cream and it's so super cute you can like this is this will make a really good kind of like travel size provided you're going anywhere we're not going anywhere so this is going to travel to my bathroom and then i did a repurchase of the fresh rose deep hydration face cream love this moisturizer i've used it before i've talked to you guys about this one before so this is just a repurchase because i'm out i am just about out of my nars radiant creamy concealer absolutely love this in my makeup collection video i told you guys that i wasn't really kind of resonating with the dior one and so i just thought i'd go back to old faithful if you guys have been also following me for a while then you know that i've been using the nars radiant creamy concealer for just about five or six years now it is something that i've always had in my arsenal and just something that i think I'm just going to keep having until they discontinue it, I guess. Um, but this one is medium dark chestnut. I'll just show you guys what it looks like in case you are unfamiliar with this product. But this is definitely holy grail concealer for me. I think I've done a review of this. And so if I can find it in my videos, I'll definitely put the link to that down below. This is the Origi Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. And since I hit 30, I've been waking up with a lot of puffy eyes and dark circles. And so I thought I would give this eye cream a try. I haven't used eye creams in a very, very long time. I have been using the Peter Thomas Roth um, eye patches, which I absolutely love. More on that later. I decided to get uh, deodorant. So I've been using this one from the brand called Attitude and does not work 
and my best friend Camille warned me about the brand and she's like do not buy it it's absolute crap but she told me that after I purchased it I used it I know that there's an adjustment period when you switch to um, natural deodorants and so you can spend a bit of time smelling a little bit funky before your body just kind of gets used to natural deodorants and I went through the adjustment period and it still didn't work it's just I would put it on now and my armpits would just be like sweating and stinky like a few hours later and so I thought I would try this one by Malin and Getz and this one is their bergamot deodorant um, it has a bit of bergamot oil in there so if you guys are kind of like sensitive to citrus type um, products or ingredients and this one might not be for you I think they have other scents uh, but this smells really amazing and it just comes in a really cute kind of bottle very minimalist and it has a screw top and it is a roll-on so you just kind of would roll it up and down it smells amazing it smells like bergamot yeah so I'm very curious to try this one I hope it's good I haven't had very much luck with deodorant lately and I'm guessing it's a good thing that we've been in lockdown and I can't leave the house because Lord knows it's it has not been cute so excited to get this really hope I love it if not then the, the deodorant trials will continue <laughs> um, next up I thought I would try the Fenty Beauty eavesdrop uh, blurring skin tint um, this one I'm very excited about I got the shade 18 I'm I'm really hoping that this is my shade I'm not sure um, I just kind of I went with the original Fenty Beauty foundation because I did have that and then I matched my shade in that and they gave me this one um, but I don't know because it looks kind of light does it look light I don't know I don't know I'm gonna put a little dab on my chest and see how it looks right here and there's natural light so you guys should be able to tell can you see that I can't really see it from oh yeah you can see a bit right there it's not I wouldn't say it's a bad match. My face is a touch darker than my chest, so I feel like it could possibly go. It's right there in case you guys can see it. Um, but the formula is quite, almost kind of, once it absorbs, it feels really lightweight, kind of powdery, which makes me think there's probably silicone in here, which is fine, it's not a problem. Yep, dimethicone is in here, so. I was right um, but I'm very curious to try this it is a 32 ml um, uh, foundation which is typically standard for foundations you usually get about an ounce about 30 mils so this gives you an extra two mils which I think is quite nice because the bottle is so small these are the beauty rewards um, points the beauty points thing and because I placed two separate orders I ordered mine and then Hina wanted her stuff so then I ordered hers as well um, I just kind of went and used my points to get these twice so this is the CEO 15% vitamin C serum I was very curious to try this I've heard very good things and then this one is the good genes lactic acid and these are from Sunday Riley next up is the fresh sugar rosé lip treatment and this is just a lip balm i thought i would get this one influenced by my friend kemi who got this but it's very kind of like fancy packaging um you know it's metal and then you screw on your kind of cap which i think is super cute something to throw in my purse to go to the living room i think is really really great so i thought i would get that plus i really needed a lip balm and I was finding myself using my Laneige sleeping mask on a daily basis as lip balm and I wanted some kind of separation so I thought I'd get that one from Fresh Beauty. And then I bought this kind of duo set from Peter Thomas Roth. So their eye patches, their 24 karat eye patches can get really pricey. The last time I bought it, it was 140 
five dollars for the eye patch i do love it though i finished it hina has used it she really likes it too she thinks it's very fancy and so i really wanted to get a repurchase and so when i was checking out the eye patches on the sephora website they had this duo set which is the full size firming favorites and it comes with their firm peeling gel which vis visibly exfoliates by rolling and lifting sweeping away when massaged into onto the skin i do hear that these are kind of like a hype product though and they don't really work but i don't know if it'll work i'll let you know but the reason why i decided to go with this package is because it was kind of like buy the eye patches get this for free because it was the same price as if i just bought the eye patches so i thought i would get both um so i got my full size for my eye patches which is the 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm um hydrogel eye patches from peter peter thomas roth i absolutely love this it is very much a luxurious treat though and it's so it's not something that i would come on here and be like guys you need to buy this like you can't live without it you can live without this you don't need to buy this it's just something that i really really love to use and then i'll give this one a try but definitely was a really good deal to get kind of like a buy one get one free situation coming up on the last two items i feel like i saved the best for last so i needed a new face wash and i wanted to try a particular brand now I want to preface this by saying, and I know I don't have to, these products are not cheap. And without the 20% discount, I probably would not have bought them. But I have heard about this for months now, and I'm like, oh, I really want to try it. Obviously, it didn't seem like a necessity to buy them in there. I'm like, you know what, I'll wait for the opportune time to get it. And so, the brand is from Dr. Barbara Sturm, um, and it, apparently it's really good. And so I got their cleanser and their balancing toner. I'm very curious and very excited to try them. I have no face washes right now, and I've been using the pharmacy one repeatedly. And you know, like I said in my skincare video, um, it washes my face that's pretty much all there is to it it doesn't really do anything for me it's not super special um, and so I wanted to try something else and see how I liked it and so that's why I decided to get to try Barbara Sturm this is what the cleanser looks like it's just in a white bottle and by the looks of it it looks like it might be a foaming cleanser based on the pump here and then our toner is it just looks like this it's a pump which is awesome i think that's awesome that it has a pump i'll let you guys know how i feel about this if any of you are barbara sturm fans or if you've used any of her products let me know in the comment section below we can talk about it but that's pretty much it for everything in my sephora haul i really hope you guys enjoyed this video you still have i would say a day or two before the end of the sale which ends on the 19th so i'll try to get this video up as quickly as possible for you so that in case you guys wanted to go and buy anything you can go ahead and do that so i'll make sure to link everything down below i thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in another video bye <laughs>